Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we're going to be looking at triangles today, those three-sided beasts. We're going to figure out how they work and classify them a little bit. So, quick review before we get started. We did talk about um, angles before, and I just wanted to do a quick review. <laughs> a little bit silly of a review, but that's all right. An acute angle will look like this, any angle that's less than 90 degrees. An obtuse angle will look like that an angle larger than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. A right angle is right there. It's a 90 degree angle. And these are not to be just um, confused with a cute angel. Um, <laughs> oftentimes a bit of a confusing point. All right. Let's go ahead and look at the sum of interior angles of a triangle. An triangles have inside them three interior angles. There's an example here. Three interior angles. Each triangle's interior angles will add up to be 180 degrees. You can look at these three triangles as an example. All right. One of them has 90, 45, and 45. If you add those up, they equal 180 degrees. If you take 100 plus 45 plus 35, or 67, 67, and 46, um, and now I created these triangles, so they may not be exact, but with all triangles, they do equal exactly 180 degrees. And another way to test this would be to actually cut the angles off and set them all next to each other, and they would make a nice straight line. All right. So knowing that there's 180 degrees inside of a triangle, what we can do is find the missing measurement, like angle C right there, knowing that it would be 180 degrees total. And if we subtract the other two angles, 92 degrees and 67 degrees, we would then get the other angle measurement. The other way we could write this is that 180 degrees is equal to 92 plus 67 plus our unknown angle. And we could call that x, for example. Well, actually. We already know it's angle C because of the triangle, but the interior angle, we could say whatever it is. So we would figure that out, taking 180 and subtracting 92 and subtracting 67, and we would get that x is equal to 21. Two more examples will show us the same basic ideas that we've been talking about there. All right, 52. This one here, having that square in the corner, means that that one's 90. So we can go ahead and label that. So I would take 180 minus 90 minus 52, and I would get the final angle measurement for this is 38 degrees. This one here, I would take 180 minus 110 minus 26, and that would tell me that my remaining angle is 44 degrees. All right. Again, all you're doing is knowing that there's 180 degrees inside of a triangle, so all three corners need to add up to give you 180 degrees. All right. Now let's change gears just a little bit and talk about the types of triangles. We're going to label triangles by their angles and by their side lengths. An acute triangle, remember what an acute angle was. An acute triangle is a triangle where all three angles are less than 90 degrees. Remember, that's, that's different than the other ones. All three angles need to be less than 90 degrees. A right triangle has one angle measurement is exactly 90 degrees. Here's an example of a triangle where it's 90 degrees, 60 degrees, and 30 degrees. Remember, one angle measurement is 90 degrees. That means that it is a right triangle. With an acute triangle, all three have to be acute. With a right triangle, just one has to be a right angle. And an obtuse triangle, only one angle needs to be more than 90 degrees. All right? And this, for our example here, it's 100 degrees is more than 90. So that would be an obtuse triangle. So as long as you remember an acute, obtuse, or right angles, that's why we reviewed them at the beginning. As long as you remember that, you'll be able to remember what the triangles are when we're classifying them by their angles. 
The other way of classifying a triangle is to classify them by the side lengths. Um, oops. Here are three examples of isosceles triangles. An isosceles triangle has two sides that are called legs that are the same length. And we mark those with these little tick marks. All right, this one here I was a little confused. It looked almost like this third side was equal as well, and that would not be an isosceles triangle. But the more I look at it, the more I think, yeah, that one's a different length. That one looks to be a little bit shorter than these. So this is a good example, again, of an isosceles triangle. Those two sides marked with the tick points are going to be equal length. All right? A scalene triangle is a triangle that has three different sides that are all different lengths. All right, here's an example of a 90 degree triangle, a right triangle that has three different side lengths. Here's an obtuse triangle with three different side lengths. And this one here appears to be an acute triangle with all three different side lengths. All right, again, a scalene triangle means that all three side lengths are different. It can be any type of angle measurements, but the, what we're classifying by now is the side length. All right. The third type of triangle by side length is called an equilateral triangle. An equilateral triangle is a triangle where all three sides have exactly the same length. All right. And they can be large or small, but they're going to be the same shape. All right, this is a special type of triangle. If you have all three side lengths the same, there are other properties as well for that triangle. All of the angle measurements will also be the same. And so it's called not only an equilateral triangle, but it's also called an equiangular and a regular triangle. So that's a really special triangle. All right, but when we're classifying just by the side length, we call it equilateral triangle. So now we're going to go through and try and classify these triangles. Um, you can select A, B, C, or D. This is like your test for the day. Classify this triangle. Is it an acute triangle, a right triangle, an obtuse triangle, or a corresponding angle? Without having the labels on this triangle, it makes it a little bit more tough. but. I think it's pretty clear this one here is an acute triangle. None of the angles are exactly 90 degrees, and none of them are larger than 90 degrees. So we would call that one an acute triangle. All right, test question number two. Is this triangle an acute, right, obtuse, or an alternate exterior angle? OK, had a little bit of time there. This one here is definitely a right triangle. We know that by our label on angle C there, that block, that's a right triangle. It's got a 90 degree angle. And the final kind of triangle, that's what this one's going to be, the uh, Mr. B triangle. Is it acute, obtuse, right triangle, or alternate interior angles? This one here is definitely obtuse. I think the R angle R is really obviously larger than 90 degrees, so this would be an obtuse triangle. Not that Mr. B is obtuse, but apparently the triangle is. All right. Um, by side length, does this triangle look to be scalene, equilateral, isosceles, or an alternate interior angle? I'm hoping that you said this one looks like it's equilateral. That's what this one here looks like, equilateral. It's got the same length for all three sides. How about this one here? Are the side lengths, uh, is it isosceles with two equal side lengths, equilateral with three, or scalene with no equal side lengths? This one will be scalene. Yeah, there's no side lengths here that are the same. This one is definitely shorter than this one, and this one's the shortest of all. All right. This one here marked with tick mark shows us that these two sides are congruent. So what kind of a triangle is that? Scalene, equilateral, isosceles, or alternate interior angle? I really don't even know why I give the th fourth option. It doesn't really make any sense. But this one's definitely an isosceles triangle. 
All right. So that was our test today. Hopefully you got perfect on it. And we've had a good time to review how to classify triangle lengths. Remember, triangles have 180 degrees on the inside of them. And we can classify triangles both by their angles and by their side lengths.